welcome to the third episode of Catamount School Talk Show. Today we are here with Lauren Wright, Paul Volkmer, Leela Graham, and Casey Burgess, who are members of who are members of our who are cast members of our fifth and sixth grade musical, Annie. I'd like to welcome back Leela and Casey, and welcome Paul and Lauren, who are first timers on our show. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Could you tell our viewers what Annie is about? Well, Annie is about um, an orphan, and the play takes um, takes place in the 1930s. And um, she's in an orphanage, and she really, really wants to find her parents. And Miss Hannigan is like this evil, grouchy woman, and she takes care of the kids. And it's like she escapes from the orphanage, and she's out in New York City in the winter, and. Um, and then um, a cop comes and tells her if he sees her out again that he'll bring her back. That if he sees her and her dog without leash, then he's going to send it to the pound. And he catches them again, and he returns them to Miss Hannigan. And then Grace Farrell comes, the secretary for Oliver Warbucks, and t takes Annie back to um, Mr. Warbucks' home, where the servants meet, meet Annie. And they like <laughs> they welcome her and tell her that she'll probably have a really good time there and that she doesn't really have to do any work and they uh, go to see a movie in New York City and um, well this is uh, <laughs> further into the play um, Mr. Warbucks wants to adopt Annie and we found out about it. And first he's looking for her parents, and he uh, sets up a $50,000 reward. And Rooster, Lily, and Miss Sanigan want the money, so they're... So they form a plan to try to kidnap Annie from Mr. Warbucks. Like, like by, to fool them? To yeah, pretend by pretending they're Annie's, that parents. They're Annie's parents. And because they want the $50,000. And so they go there, and Rooster has been through like he's like very you know he's always in jail and he always does stuff like that and his and he's just like a troublemaker and so he's got like a whole history behind him so when they do that Mr. Warbucks and Grace believe him so they so I'm so Annie's packing and she you know she's getting all ready and she goes downstairs and um Grace or uh, Lily and Rooster are downstairs and they're gonna like take her. But then Grace and Warbucks find out that um, they're not really Annie's that they're parents. not really Aunt Annie's parents. And then they arrest Lily and um, and and Rooster and also Miss Hannigan. And at the end of the play, um, they make this deal where. All the orphans that were in the orphanage don't have to work anymore, and they'll find families for them, and that's pretty much it. Well, thank you. We have a clip of Lauren as Miss Hannigan. Let's see it. Get up! Now, for this one, shenanigans, you all get down on your naughty little knee and clean this and stop until shine and the clouds about it. What is four o'clock in the morning? Ha, ha, ha! Get to work! Yes, Miss Hannigan. What was it like playing her? Well, my character, she was like, she was like really grouchy and she was bossy, like always telling the children what to do, like, like to clean their, like, up their mess. And um, I'm like drunk sometimes, so I sometimes like don't make sense or like I'm really self centered and I really only think about myself. And to play my character was like 
fun. I got I got to <coughs> learn how uh, other people act, and I really learned a lot. I was really fun. Did you automatically like click to your part, or at first did you have to work on how you said your lines? I had to work on it a little bit because the language is like eight and stuff, and I don't really like say that. So I had to get in character. It took me a while, but I'm I got into it pretty fast. In the play, at one point you pushed Lila down and you were shaking her sometimes. How did you do that? Because you couldn't really push her down. No, we did like a fake push. Like I just looked like I was pushing her, and then she fell down herself or safely. And for um, shaking. She shook herself, and I just put my hands on her, and it looked like I was shaking her. Did you, like, like yelling at the people? How was that? Well, I didn't like it because most of them were my friends, but I got pretty used of it. Used of it? <laughs> used of it? <laughs> used of it? Used of it? <laughs> I, got, I got used of it. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> used to it, Lauren. Yeah. I got used to it after a while. <clears throat> mm. Were you nervous before the play? I was really nervous because I didn't know if I would mess up or anything because I never had a big part. Because last year in the production of Into the Woods, I was just a back of a cow. So this, <laughs> is, so this is a really big jump for me. You had a singing solo. Does that make you even more nervous? Yeah, because I didn't really sing by myself a solo in front of that many people before. So it was like, oh no. Before the play, did you have to like work on your voice a lot and stuff? Yeah, before the play, we always did voice warm-ups, like, to, like, Warm up our voice? Yeah. She's <laughs> 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 like sitting there rocking back and forth. Just, um, mm. How was the dance number for Easy Street? Um, well, I did it with Danny and Casey, and we were singing um, Easy Street, because it was after we decided that we were going to, or Danny and Casey. Did you guys choreograph that? No, Miss Songdahl, or, And yeah, Mr. Harbor. They choreographed it for us. How long did it take for you to learn the dance? Mm, well... Only a couple of days, because after we saw it, we got a little idea of it, and so we just, like, worked with it and learned it. You had to, aud had to audition. What was that like? Were you nervous when you went in? Or? Yeah, I was nervous, and it was basically the same thing as what they did last year. They printed out, like, a sheet of lines, like, from different scenes, and they had us practice them at home. And so we brought them in and practiced them there or we set them there, and so they like judge us and how we said the lines and if we were confident enough. Now that it's over, do you miss the play? I do, because it, it was really fun to do, and I had a lot of fun being around my friends. Um, let's go to the, the clip of Paul as Drake. Please call. character was and a little about a little bit about how it was playing him my character was Drake mr. Warbucks Butler and it was kind of it was kind of hard being him because all because I had an accent and I had to be really proper and my moves and my movements were always slow and like I'd be like take Did people's coats and when they walked in and did you have to work on the accent a lot? Yes, and it sort of got frustrating because at first, I mean, we don't really talk like that and stuff, so it kind of got frustrating for me because I had to talk 
like so really proper and <coughs> can you give us a little bit of an example of how you talked? Okay. Well, when when Mr. Warbucks would always call for me, I would go, "Yes, sir." <laughs> <laughs> you got one of the <laughs> best laughs in the show. How was that? What did you do? Um. Well, okay, Mr. Mr. Warbucks wanted to adopt Annie, and so he called me up to the stage, and he told me that we were going to have an adoption party. So I go, and he said, get all the staff spiffied up, because we're going to be guests. So ever, so when I was walking off the stage, I skipped off, and I go, woohoo! And everyone started, like, cheering and laughing, and it, <laughs> and it was kind of cool. Were you nervous before this, or were you worried that you would mess up or something? Well, I was sort of, but last year I was in it too, in, in, in the woods, and in into the woods, and like, you can't see like really anyone because the lights are really bright, so it's like no one's out there, but they really are, and I was, I was nervous a lot because I had a much bigger part than last year, but I already knew like what it was going to be like, and like, how it was. What did you do backstage to get ready for when you went on? Well, see, we had props, and we, and like before each scene started, you had to gather your props and make sure like which props you were going to use were on stage, and sometimes we played games backstage and danced to the songs that we weren't in, and it was fun. <laughs> did you all wish, did you all wish each other good luck and stuff? Yes, like before the show, we always wished each other good luck, and like, we gave hugs and stuff. Um, how many shows did you do? Well, we, we had five, two on Thursday, two on Friday, and one on um, Saturday. But then it was, it was such a good play that the high school wanted to see us, the drama club in the high school. So we had an extra one on Monday. Um, and that went good, and we, I don't think anyone messed up at that show. I think that was probably our best show that we did. Can you explain a little bit about having to, like, wear makeup and things like that? Well, it was, I didn't really like wearing makeup, but it just, like, it's something that you ha had to do because it was just acting. But the worst makeup I thought was the eyeliner because it always made me tear up, and I just didn't like that. <laughs> Real actors mm -hmm. do this every day and like for years. Do you think you would want to do this when you grew up? Yes, I think that <laughs> I would want to go to Broadway, and I want. That's why I put for my ambition in the school yearbook because that's what I like to do. And I think, and I don't like doing any sports. And a lot of teachers in the school told me that they think this is like what they think I'll be good at when I grow up, and I think so too. And this is what I think will be cool to Thank do. Thank you, Paul. Now we have a clip of Leela as Annie. play. Did that make you really nervous? Well, actually, it wasn't that bad. Like, the first show, it was bad. <laughs> but I know. Like, I, I kind of got a little sick. But the next, after the other shows, you know, went on, I was fine because I really enjoyed what I was doing. I thought it was real cool. So. What were rehearsals like for you? Well, rehearsals were every day for me. So my whole life pretty much got canceled until the play was over. But I think it was totally worth it, and so. Did you, like, did, what, how many, like, <laughs> how many, how long did you practice your lines, like, after school, in school? Well, actually, I, during rehearsals, I went in there, and I had the book with me, and it was, like, crunch time, and I was, like, still reading my lines, and it wasn't really too good. But then I went home one weekend, and the whole weekend, two days, I just, practiced all my lines. The book was with me like every time, everywhere I went. So that's basically how 
I did it. Was it hard to practice, like, without everyone else there to do the scenes and s with you, or? Well, no, because um, the singing wasn't, you know, like, I, I sang, but, like, for the acting, my parents and my brother helped me. And, like, my dad would be Daddy Warbucks, and my mom would just, you know, any line she would do so that I could just, you know, push <coughs> it back to them. How did you practice your singing parts? Um, well, Miss Songo luckily gave everyone the tape, so I took the tape home and um, I had the, the just the music, so I knew what what to do and when to come in. So I just sang it with that. We know we had a lot of Sandys trying out for the part, but it ended up being your dog. How did that happen? Well, because we had this one Sandy, which actually was from the Cat TV Studios. And that would have been perfect because his name was Sandy and everything. But I wasn't really too familiar with him, so that's why it didn't really work out. So, but my but we had treats for my dog, and my dog is like, he if he smells something, he comes. So, I had the treats in my hand, and I would show them to him, and I'd be like, come here, Sandy, come here, boy, and he would see them, so he would come. So that's basically how we got it. Was there any play when your dog wouldn't come to you? Yes, Friday night we had trouble because there are kids backstage that were by the stairs and they were like, I don't know why they were doing this, but they were like, hey boy, and like they were like motioning to him, so the dog was going over there and I, and, and the police officer, Mike, was standing here and my dog was over here and I was here. I was like, come here, Sandy, come here, boy. And he didn't see the treats in my hand, but then finally I got him. I kept walking a little closer to him, but finally I got him. That must have made you pretty nervous. <laughs> oh my God, I was really nervous. Was it fun, like, doing your part with Mr. Harbor most of the time? Yeah, that was awesome because I knew Mr. Harbor because he was he's my teacher, and I also knew him because when I was little, my dad was friends with him, and so I knew him, but I, I kind of got to, like, know him more, and he's, like, he's cool to be with, so it was real fun to do stuff with him. Where did you get your costume? My costumes, my grandmother made the red dress, and she did an awesome job on that. She, she really worked hard on that. And um, the raggedy outfit, I got my aunt made that for a dance recital that my cousins were in. And we just got all rags and everything and we just threw them in there. And um, the wig we got from this store in, I think it was like Williamstown, and it was actually for Annie. So it worked out perfectly. Wow, you have a talented family. <laughs> <laughs> Um, did your whole family come to see all of your performances? Yes, my whole entire family came. And that was real great because it was just really cool to see when the play was over, I walked out of there with like 12 bouquets of flowers. And it was just cool. Not even that I, not even that I got the flowers, just that I could tell that I saw them there. And that gave me like energy to keep doing it. So. Like your family came, but uh, like did they travel far to come see you or? Where um, well, most of my family lives in New York, and my cousins live in Staten Island, and my grandmothers live in Brooklyn, and um, my uncle also lives in Staten Island, and my whole family is from that, from there. So, is there anything else that you want to say about playing Annie? Um, well, just that it's not really about Annie, but it's in general. As you heard from Miss Hannigan and Mr. And, and Drake, that you know, it was like great to be up on stage and everything about like if if you want to do something like this, then it's like it's I would have to say that it's like one of the funnest jobs I've ever done, and it's so cool. If I got a chance to do this again, I would drop everything and I would do it again, and it's really cool. So, good things in life are worth going for. Yeah. <gasps> oh, and another thing. Um, when I heard that we were doing Annie, I was so determined to get this part, and I did everything I could. And I took singing lessons from my ballet teacher, Rebecca, and we worked on that for like four weeks. And that, that's what really 
like we worked on my stage presence and all of that stuff, and that's what really got me, I think, got me the part. So, that's pretty much it. Because you had, like, some tough competition for that part. Yes, I had <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> had competition. And that was hard to beat, especially that we're good friends. So that was hard. But, but we didn't let it color you. Twice. Yes, nothing. You became very close during the yeah, show. Yeah, actually we came closer than what we were. So that's good. Okay, well, that's good. Thank so you. thank you. <laughs> now we have a clip of Casey as Rooster. you were born to play the part of Rooster. Is your personal personality a lot like the character? Well, uh, my personality is somewhat like him. But, uh, as you know, I've never stole anybody or anything like that. <laughs> 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 and, uh, it was different. Um, well, you had to talk, like, in a lot of slang, use a lot of slang language. Did, was that hard for you? Some of the words were really hard because uh, some of them I couldn't pronounce at first, but then I was like practicing them all the time and I uh, got to pronounce them. But some of the other words I was used to saying because I don't know, I just don't talk right sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, how was it working with Lily? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it was all right. <laughs> What else do you want me to say? Wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, were you, like, excited or nervous to do your solo singing? I was really nervous. Because um, at first, uh, we were practicing, like, the afternoon before we did the play, because I didn't know the dance, because I was absent when we first did it. And uh, we were practicing it really bad. We were practicing on, on recess, and then I was like really nervous because I thought I'd forget something, and then I looked like a fool up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get your costume? Uh, I had it laying around the house somewhere. What was the hardest part of the dance, do you think? Um, I think the where we did something with the shoulders, like we were rolling our shoulders uh, back. <laughs> I could never do it right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the box set was the hardest. I thought that was easy. Um, so, like, was it hard, like, at times did you feel like you didn't want to do the part of Rooster, or? Well, every time when the dance came up, I didn't want to do it. <gasps> and that was, like, my only hardest part. All the other parts, I, like, got down really good. Did you try out for that part? Well, no. I tried out for Lieutenant Ward because I didn't want to sing in front of any, anybody. And then uh, this song going, Mr. Herbert made me try out for it. Well, they didn't really make me. They just asked me if I wanted to. Were you really nervous? Well, uh, when you first got up on stage, like, the first couple times, I was really nervous. But then I got really used to it. So it really didn't matter. Was it, was it, like, did you ever get really, did you ever feel really weird about t working with two other girls? Yeah, um, <laughs> I felt like I was going to, like, make a fool out of myself in front of, like, everybody. And plus, make a fool out of myself in front of the, you and Lauren. And it was just weird, because I was, I'm used to, like, hanging out with guys and stuff. But then I had to hang out with, like, you. So, what kind of things did you have to practice in order to be Rooster? Well, I had to practice all my lines in my song, of course, but I had to practice the dance a lot, and I had to practice like how I'd walk up on stage because I was supposed to be like really cool or something like it didn't bother me or anything 
So I had to really practice that a little bit because I ain't used to like showing that out on public. How did you feel at the end of the play with all the applause? Well, I don't know. I felt like really excited and plus uh, I was like, I don't know, really nervous for some reason. Because, uh, well, when I first was up there, I thought people were like going to boo or something because <laughs> I didn't think I did very good. But it turned out different. Okay, thank you. The next, in the next clip, we have Danny as <laughs> Lily, <laughs> Rooster's girlfriend. I don't know on Danny as Lily, so we want to ask a question. Who exactly was Lily? Well, she was kind of like a girl that, she was kind of like an ongoing girl, and she was kind of like a tag along, and she just wanted to be in the action, and she kind of thought a lot of herself. Like, she thought she was so beautiful. And <laughs> um, I know because you're in my class that like, you don't have any ideas about like being like mean and kidnapping anyone. Was it hard for you to like act like you want to kidnap like a person? Well, actually, not really, because because <laughs> you know, um, like working, like hanging around Casey sometimes helps me with that. Nice. <laughs> 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 no offense, Casey. <laughs> um, I have a question. You had to have an accent. How did you work on that? Well, I, I, at first I was, I was going to use this really high voice, like something that sounded kind of bad, but because that was kind of like what Lily did. But then I just decided to use my regular voice because it was, it was hard to hear me with my high voice. Right. Um, were you nervous doing your part because you're not really afraid to stand up and do things? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, like, at the first time we did the play, I was, I thought I was going to be sick. I was, like, so nervous. I mean, I, because, like, doing this helps me a lot, but it's because, you know, there were so many people that were watching your every move, and if you, like, stepped out of line once, then a lot of people would notice, and it's like, whoa. <laughs> How was it working with Rooster? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> no, it was pretty good, because, except for how sometimes, like, because you didn't know the dance at first, and we got real, I got really worried that you wouldn't know it when Me the too. up. <laughs> Me too. How, how was it, like, because... It seems like in the play, Miss Hannigan really didn't like you much. Like, so how was that? How did that like affect you? Well, because me and Lauren are real good friends, and because when like when she was being mean to me, like not really like in real life, but in the play, I I wasn't worried about it. I just I just did my acting and just you know. Um, this is probably gonna be kind of weird, but. How was the audition for you? Well, because I really wanted the part Annie, just like you did, Leela. <laughs> and because and I, I was working on that, but I'm sort of glad that you got Annie and I didn't because I probably wouldn't have be, been able to memorize all my lines because... You barely memorized them. Yeah, the ones I had I barely memorized because... But I did get them done and that was good because... <laughs> Well, you did a great job. You did. Thanks, really you did too. Thank you. I think that it's cool that you and Lila could work things out because you didn't get the part that you, that like, you like you really wanted Annie, and so did she, and she got it. I thought that it's pretty cool that you guys could like work things out and not be mad at each other. Yeah, because I wouldn't want that like something yeah, so silly to affect yeah. our friendship. No. Um, what's another question? Let's, um, <laughs> What was it like backstage before the show? 
Well, I was like always really nervous and rushing around, and I'd always try to find Casey because he always had his book. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, I'd try to, like, because Lauren, she always wanted me to remind her not to forget her boa. And so I'm like, Lauren, don't forget your boa. Mm -hmm. And so it was really hectic. Um, where did you get the dress? Well, I got mine at the Salvation Army. I'll <laughs> admit that. <laughs> <laughs> It's not really a bad place to go for costumes. Ever. Yeah, and yeah. I there was one that I really wanted because it it was like all pink and it looked kind of gaudy. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then I I really thought that that one been good, but my mom she's like she wanted this blue one, so <laughs> but I didn't get it. I just got a flowered one. Okay, well thank you. Um, now we have a clip of Amber as Grace. <laughs> question for you. Can you explain the hair and makeup and how you had it done? Well, we all had to have makeup on, as you know, because so that you can, like, make our features more visible and stuff. So we all had to, like, your grandmother did some of the makeup for me and stuff. And then I saw Lauren got her hair done, and it looked really cool, <laughs> so I ordered my hair done, too. Um, how did you organize your time to learn all your lines? Because you had, like, a lot. Well, I learned most of them just in rehearsals. Like when we were doing the rehearsals, we would always say our lines. And so that's just how I memorized them. How did it feel? We said them so much that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How did it feel to be like like a really classy cut out lady? <laughs> it was kind of weird cuz I always had to like be so proper and stuff. Right. Did you did you ever realize during rehearsal you already knew all your lines and you didn't need your book? Well, one day they said that, because I thought we had like another week until they took our book away, but then they said that they were taking it away that day, so I was really nervous because I didn't think I knew all my lines, but then I realized that I did. Because, so. um, yeah, you went to Florida that past week and then you didn't know. So how do you think that affected you by going to Florida? Do you think you missed out on a lot well, of the rehearsals? When I came back, they had already choreographed most of the scenes of the dancing right. and stuff, but it didn't take me very long to learn it. So. Did you like being uh, a billionaire's like secretary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was kind of neat. Um, oh, I was, I was gonna. Oh, do you want to do this when you get older? Do you want to be in this kind of work? Yeah, because I love like being on this show and being in a play. I love acting. Right. Um, like when you were on stage, did you actually realize what you were doing? Or were you just like, it was kind of, it came naturally naturally to you? It did, because all my lines, like I would just know when to say I'm an actor. Right. And if we forgot, like sometimes, I remember me and you and Mr. Harbour, like <laughs> one of us forgot a line sometimes and we just reminded each other. Right. Did you ever get frustrated with like your songs, some of the songs, like your solos? No, not really. Did you ever get frustrated with like some of the dances and stuff? Did you find any like really hard? No, but because the NYC scene, that was like kind of a big dance, but, and they had already done it when I came back from Florida, so, and I didn't know it, and everybody was just like doing the dance, and that was kind of frustrating because I didn't know it, so I had to learn it. Did you ever get frustrated with the actors you worked with? No, because I worked mostly with Leela, and, <laughs> and she loves me. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering no, if she I ever did. Um, anyone have any more questions? Did you, um, <laughs> did you like like every day putting on makeup, like two times, like in the afternoon and at night? Well, I didn't really like it because <laughs> the eyeliner was like 
Like you said, it can hurt. Dead me. <laughs> it really did. It poked you in the eye. <laughs> it's like, maybe you cry. It doesn't really matter. So, like, what kind of things did you need to do to be in the play? Like, like what kind of... Did you have to show up at every rehearsal? Yeah. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. not getting. Not every rehearsal because we had a schedule with certain scenes. Right. So but every, only every well, scene every you were in, you had to be yeah. there. And if you weren't there, like in the beginning, it was it was a question if you should stay in the play because it was a, it was a big commitment. And if you couldn't be there the first couple of rehearsals, then right. And you had to like keep your grades up and stuff. Right. And school always comes first, no right. matter what happens. So. And like sometimes if if you know that some kid wanted the part that you had and like you couldn't quite do it right, like it made you it, it made you like feel weird inside because if you can do it right and they like. No, and they think they can. It like, I don't know. It just makes you feel. Who like made all the sets? Bit. Because I know that Mrs. Green, Mrs. Green oh, did it all. She, she did. She had her people. She just designed it all. She was yes. She did it. We told Miss Songdahl and Mr. Harbor told her what they wanted, and she went right to work. And it was, it was Great awesome. Set. And the Roxy, it was perfect. the Roxy sign was the like, lights around yeah. it. Yeah. The yeah. lights and the Rumpelmeyer. That's our art teacher for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, how many people were involved in the, like, how big was the cast and backstage? Um, and well, it, the whole cast together, it was probably like 50 or 60 kids all together. Just like with the backstage and, um, and the people that helped out with all of the sets and all that stuff. And like and extra actors. people. And yeah, yeah and it was about 50 or 60 people. Was it really hectic backstage for you guys, like having to change costumes? Well, and yeah, because you know, it's dark. Yeah, you didn't, really have, you didn't really light. have any time. Because, like, I know that when I was in scene five, that was the NYC scene, Mr. Harbor carried me off the stage, and then I went backstage, and I had to change really quickly because I had scene six off, thank God, because it was Easy Street. That was the first time they heard that song. And then it went to scene seven where I came out and in the red dress and Mr. Harbor told me that he wanted to adopt me. And so I was in that. And so it was hard because um, I just like, with the wig and all that stuff, and I was, it was it's really hot. And then I had a portable microphone. And so that I that had fell. Sometimes. Yeah, I had a pair of shorts on and it kept like falling. And so it was uncomfortable. But, and the wire showed one day. Cause we God. had to use like a lot of teamwork during this play because we always had to help each other do everything. Yeah. Like when like, Leila's microphone fell, she came to me and said, <laughs> hook this like, up for me. <laughs> yeah, it showed. I just have like a question. Did anyone have like a favorite song here? I did. I, I did love Tomorrow. Yes, I love Tomorrow. I like Tomorrow. I like them. I like Little Girls. Just was, I like <laughs> yeah, Lauren. Yeah. Well, she said Tomorrow. Tomorrow. That one was one I like my Never favorite Fully Dressed Without a Smile. That was my favorite one. Mine was Easy Street because I liked I liked the how we choreographed it. I loved the dance to that. I didn't really yeah. see it. Was, like, I loved so together hard. at last. Just yeah. because I love that song. Yeah. And when you guys were up there dancing, we'd all find a partner backstage. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, that's we, that's we were like sitting there. We were doing all the ooh, dance steps, ooh. and we see you guys, and you're backstage. We're over and there like dipping each other. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. It'd be like me, like we'd get two other people, and we'd all start doing it, and everyone would get like a partner, and we also did it with um. Uh, what's called? <laughs> I don't need anything but you. Like everyone got a partner, and we all did together that. at last. Can you explain a little bit? Because on the first show, we did it for like all of the elementary schools. Can you explain like what that felt like? Because when I know that when I looked out, it made me really nervous because well, there were so many people. I thought that. It was kind of cool because we were like kind of showing off, and yeah. it was like the first show, but it was just like we were like, oh yeah, this is Catamount, we rock. You know? <laughs> well, <laughs> just like it was real. We're thing. the best well, school. I don't know if this was like uh, um, during the um, the all the schools, but like one night the lights, some of the lights went out, and, and all the spotlights had to do all like the lights because the two lights in the front, like by Miss Songdahl's little. Um, table, they went out, and I was on stage, and it was like just dark for a moment. And then the spotlights came out and made their circles bigger, 
and so, but we didn't really have a problem with that. Yeah, like after my scenes, bef like for the first couple of shows, uh, we she didn't really put um, light on the stage, and so she put a little, but I had to like take small steps so I made sure I wouldn't fall off the stage because I couldn't <laughs> yeah. see it. Yeah, and when we did it to Hard Knock Life, that was hard because we had all the buckets in front, and then you still had the beds, yeah. and then <laughs> me and Molly and an additional orphan, we were in the, in, all three of us were in one bed, <laughs> and that was really uncomfortable because we didn't have a lot of time to do, like, you know, and it was pretty hard. But. Is there anything else anyone would like to? Well, actually, yeah, I would like to show everybody out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, this t-shirt, it was all, all the cast got these t-shirts. And I would like to thank um, Bennington Sports and Graphics for um, doing this for us. And it was really nice that Tom Hofter could do this for us. And uh, we would just like to thank him very much. We'd also like to thank Lilo's dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you, dad, because, <laughs> yeah, did that. And the backstage people. Yes. They had and a, and big, they had the a very big part. And the lights. And they all, had they to kept take all the people set. that didn't, like, have a big part in bowing. We would like to thank them because they did. They really did have really a big part. Yeah, the the backstage out. people, they were always rushing around with their yeah. walkie talkies and <laughs> helping us because like, yeah. I had legal papers that I would leave on her desk and Nick Flair, he would always try to get them for me and they were really good. Um, I'd like to say something because I had to act mean to Leela and it, it was kind of hard because like every time she would push me, I'd be like, ouch, just acting. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> and I'd be like, Dory, no, no, like, don't say don't that. Don't apologize. <laughs> and um, it was hard because we're like really good friends, and I'm, I'm really not mean to her. And so it was really hard. OK. Well, thank you all. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Time Out School Talk Show. Being a part of Annie was a great experience, and we enjoyed sharing it with you. Before we go, we would like to thank a few people who made this show possible. First, Ms. Songda and Mr. Harbour for producing Annie. Chad for coming up from North Adams to help us. We couldn't do it without him. Mallory, DJ, and Tyson for working in the control room. Abby and Anna, our camera crew. And Mrs. Green and Mr. Mallon. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> CAT TV is celebrating 30 years of community media. Help support CAT TV's next 30 years by becoming a member today. Your membership will help us continue covering meaningful, local content.
thank you for supporting your local community media station.